Welcome to the 5-Minute Legal Master Series, where expert attorneys help you master important legal topics. Today, board-certified creditors' rights and business bankruptcy attorney, Kirk B. Berkeley, discusses different chapters of the bankruptcy code. Today, we're just going to run through the various chapters of the bankruptcy code and talk about what they mean generally so that you have a basic understanding of, of bankruptcy and how it works. The first three chapters, chapters 1, 3, and 5, apply to every bankruptcy case. They are generally referred to as the uh, administrative chapters, meaning that they govern all cases that are in bankruptcy. Chapter 1 is the definition section, so all of the defined terms in the bankruptcy code can be found in Chapter 1. Uh, not something to be uh, ignored because significant case law has come out of what do various terms mean in, uh, in the bankruptcy code. So make sure to understand Chapter 1. Chapter 3 generally governs um, the use of property and how a trustee is supposed to act in a case, um, the hiring of professionals, and again, the sale, lease, use of property in all bankruptcy cases. Uh, chapter 5 is more of your administrative chapter. It talks about uh, the priority scheme of, of classes of creditors. Uh, so, for example, which creditors get paid first in the waterfall effect, uh, if there's money and which creditors get paid second, third, and all the way down the line through the priority scheme. Uh, chapter 5 also governs things like preferences and fraudulent transfer actions, uh, those types of actions which um, augment the estate, meaning they are actions to avoid and recover things that the bankrupt company or bankrupt individual uh, paid out or gave away prior to the bankruptcy case and now is seeking to recover to augment its bankruptcy estate. Uh, so again, just remember that chapters 1, 3, and 5 apply to all of the other uh, bankruptcy chapters and cases operating under them. Chapter 7 is your, uh, your, your general or typical liquidation bankruptcy case. Chapter 7 is what most people think about when they hear the word bankrupt or bankruptcy, which is where the trustee takes all of the debtors um, free and clear and non-exempt assets, liquidates them, turns them into cash, and then distributes to creditors. So what do I mean by free and clear and non-exempt? Uh, what I mean is assets that are not the collateral of some lender or some bank, and that the debtor does not have the right to exempt a portion of those uh, assets for herself or himself. Chapter 9 is the chapter that governs municipal reorganizations. So these are your cities, municipalities, boroughs, uh, or government instrumentalities that have become insolvent and have to file bankruptcy. Chapter 11 is often referred to as the business reorganization chapter, but that's become a little less true in, in recent years. Uh, number one, individuals can file Chapter 11 cases, uh, and also Chapter 11 can be used by um, companies to sell their assets to another entity or otherwise liquidate their assets. But Chapter 11 is typically known as the chapter that is used by your large bankruptcy cases. People can think of General Motors or Chrysler or U.S. Airways. Uh, chapter 12 is the Family Farmer Reorganization case, specifically reserved for family farmers and there are some certain specific protections in there for family farmers that other people are not able to take advantage of under the bankruptcy code. Chapter, thir chapter 13 is the wage earner reorganization. So this is reserved for individuals that have regular income and can fund what's called a chapter 13 plan to keep some of their assets, maybe keep their house or a car or some other valuable assets but in return for doing so, they have to make regular payments to their creditors over time, usually three to five years. And once they complete that plan, then their debts are discharged. 
So you can compare and contrast a Chapter 13 case, which is filing a plan at the beginning, versus Chapter 11, which is filing a plan at the end. You've just heard The 5-Minute Legal Master, where expert attorneys help you master important legal topics. For more information on this and other topics, please visit 5minutelegalmaster.com.